<laughs> oh, shit hurt. All right, yo. So I read chapters 42 to 50. I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did. Simply because I was reading and I was like, damn, bro, this is getting good. You know what I'm saying? So basically, like 42 to like 45, maybe like around there, like like the middle. Um, Willoughby returns and then he says, oh, I'm sorry for what I did. I only did it for the money. So it's like, okay, homie, you a bitch boy. Okay. So he did that. And then uh, Eleanor, he tells Eleanor to tell... No, hold up. Willoughby tells Eleanor to tell Marianne what he told Eleanor. All right. So, um, Eleanor like she 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 like sympathizes for him. She feels bad for that dumbass. So she's like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. So Willoughby basically said that he really did love, um, Marianne, but um, financially he didn't feel like it was there. You get me? So he decided to marry somebody else who's a lot richer, and he did not care about. The feelings or the connection or the attachment or anything in general. So it shows you um, how it's it's kind of ironic and it kind of points towards like like I said like the theme of money. How money was really 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 important. So somebody would rather marry somebody they don't give a crap about because of money than marrying somebody they truly feel something for who has no money. You feel me? So um, that happens and then also simultaneously I guess you can say Colonel Brandon is bringing the Dashwood mom home. Because Marianne is really sick and she was like, Mama, Mama, in her sleep because she's stupid. So uh, she's being brought over and then uh, Colonel Brandon professes his love for Marianne to the Mama in the carriage. So yeah, so we're like, oh crap, what's going to happen? Um, and this is why I kept reading. So then in the following chapters, um, we get the news that, um, what's that fool's name? Edward marries Lucy. And I was like, oh, what the hell? I was like, bruh. Like, are these girls not going to get married? I'm like, Jane Austen going to do me dirty like that, bruh. But that doesn't happen. Um, later, we see Edward in a horse, homie. Or in a carriage. Somewhere. Point is, we see him, homie. And uh, he tells... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And when, when Marianne and, and Eleanor find out the news about Mr. Ferrars being married to Lucy, they act like the complete opposite that, that I would expect them to because Eleanor is like... Right? And then Marianne's all like, what the heck? Uh-uh. I'm mean, like Sharkisha type of crap. You know what I'm saying? She's like all vocal and out there. And then Eleanor's just like, you know? And then the mom begins to think about like, damn, like my, my daughter is like feeling it inside. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I should have cared for her more. Like, yes, you should. La mama, you, you did nothing for Eleanor. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Um... So it shows you how uh, Eleanor maintained, like, a like she's close to her family, but she's still somewhat distant, which is, I think, something Austin intended of doing. So you can see her development, like, on her own. Like, she was not influenced by anybody but herself. And then, all right. So then that happens, and then Edward comes, and then he says, oh, I didn't marry Lucy. My brother did. And we're like, oh, what the hell? Your brother? Like, why your brother? And then... So, yeah, because since he inherited the money, Lucy, she's a money whore, she's a gold digger, she wants the, the, the gold penis. She went with Robert because he had the money. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, I want, there's a point that I want to point out right now, but I, I think I'm going to save it to the end because it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty uh, important. You know what I'm saying? So then that happens. So then now it's even better because Colonel Brandon, like, he says, oh, the house that I had for you and Lucy, now you can have it with, uh, with Eleanor. So woohoo, you guys have a have a good ending. But he's like in his in his head, he's like, damn, bro, who am I gonna marry? Am I gonna be a lone dog? Or we're like, what the hell? So then that happens. Um, then they move in, and point is that uh, it ended kind of like the ending was kind of weird because uh, it happened really quick. Uh, so uh, Marianne and and Colonel Brandon uh, visit uh, Edward and uh, Eleanor at their house quite a bit. Uh, they, uh, Eleanor and, uh, was that, Edward invite them in hopes of, uh, uh, having them, like, create, like, a, a, a relationship or, like, an attachment. And, uh, they, they successfully do that, um, Marianne and Colonel Brandon marry, and, uh, the two sisters live in that house, and they live happily ever after. Um, but the point, like, that's the ending, like, I'm telling you, it ended, like, like that, like, really quick, like, damn, bro, like, I don't, I don't even see Marianne change or something, like, maybe, like, I don't know, because at one point, Austin said that, uh, Marianne would come to, like, grasp with, like, grasp with her life when she found out the falsehood in her opinion, and I guess she did that, so, boom, she changed, you know what I'm saying, but the, the point that I wanted, like, to note was, um, 
Uh, it was really ironic, but I like this. It was really ironic how the first son is supposed to inherit all the money and be basically the happy one since he, he got the moolah, you get me? But in this novel, the first son didn't get shit. Like, Edward is the first son, but he didn't inherit the money. Robert did. And it is said that now that Robert inherited all the money, that he's the eldest son. So, Edward's out. Colonel Brandon is the second son. I, I believe I believe he's the second son. Yeah, he's the second son. And his brother married his bitch. So, he got done dirty. So, he didn't get crap. And then, uh, John Dashwood... He's not even like the the first son or any no no he no he is the first son. John Dashwood is the first son and then he has like like money and crap and but he's not really happy or whatever I think. So we we see how the second sons of this novel are the ones who end up content and happy. But the first sons have like pretty weird circumstances that they live in. You get me? So so that that was really interesting. I like that how it was like ironic how it wasn't the usual. Uh, typical things that happen. So Austin did. I'm, I'm pretty sure Austin did that purposely. But yeah, like the only thing that I, I probably could have said was maybe like extended the ending so we could have seen Marianne and Colonel Brandon's relationship flourish a little bit more and how it developed, not just like, oh yeah, okay, they got married. Uh, all in all, I love I love the novel. I love the towards the end. The beginning kind of bored me. Um, also my vlogs, my vlogs, whatever. I think they got a little bit different because at the at the beginning I was just kind of like recapping them. Now I'm kind of giving you more of like what I felt. Uh, my reaction towards things, and yeah, some of them may have sucked, but some of them are, I guess, kind of decent. Uh, but yeah, um, so throughout the novel, I, I think the theme of, like I said, attachment and connection, like like attachment versus connection, was very prevalent. Money, of course, and uh, sense and sensibility. How um, basically the sisters had to overcome that, um, and the change of Marianne's character and then Eleanor's character towards the end, and the change of everybody's character and change of heart so yeah uh it was a great novel um i have about probably like 10 vlogs so about five and on get better four and one four to one kind of booty but yeah uh thank you guys thank you mr cortez i love you right there hold on my bad and yeah uh i'll see you at school